how to create folders and organize documents into folders. Now that you've upgraded to Google Drive, we do not call them collections anymore, but we call them folders. So the first thing that you would need to do to start organizing into folders is clicking on the red create button and you'll see that you can create a new folder. Let's name our new folder 12-13 staff meeting notes and click create. Now you'll see that it's created underneath my drive. There's this little black arrow that you can open and close to see your folders. And now I have a folder here called 12-13 staff meeting notes. If the folder is plain, that means it's just a private folder to me. If the folder has a little white person in it, that means that that folder is shared with more than one person. Every folder, as you hover over it, has this little drop down arrow. And the little drop down arrow allows you to either open the folder to view all the documents in the folder, create new documents within that folder or folders within the folder. You can share the folder, add a star, organize it, rename it, change its color so that you can keep different ones separate from each other as they get, as you get a lot of folders. Now, once I've clicked on 12-13 staff meeting notes, you'll see that I don't have any documents in them. So now you can start moving some documents and organize them into 12-13 staff meeting notes. So if I click back on my drive, I can see all the documents that I have within my drive. These are probably documents that I have created and or I have moved these folders into my drive so that they are um, there for easy access. So if I wanted to start moving some documents into 1213 staff meetings, I could just drag them one by one into there. But it's not the most efficient way, but if you are doing it one by one, that's fine. What I would recommend is that using this little checkbox, when you start using the checkbox on the left hand side, you see that there's a little folder that appears called Organize. And if I click on the Organize button, it asks me which folder would I like to put those documents in. So I click the 1213 staff meeting notes. If I hold down the control button, I can also start selecting multiple folders for all those documents to live in if I'm interested in that. But for right now, I'll just click on 1213 and I'll click apply changes. Now, different from before, those documents are now removed from my Google Docs list here and now they live in the 12-13 staff meeting notes. So within my drive, they are no longer listed. If I've clicked on my drive, they're no longer listed in my long list of view right here, but they are in my staff meeting notes. One of the things that you can do is when you click on my drive and you, uh, the little arrow by it and you close it and you go down to all items, you'll start seeing that these are all the items, whether they are in folders or not in folders. So I'm going to sort them by last edited by me, which means that these are the ones that I've used the most recently up on the top. So now you can see all of my folders are in here. You can see all of my documents. And then you can also see in green or whatever color your folder is if the document is in a folder. So the all items is very helpful if you want to see if things are in folders or not in folders at this point. The best way, again, to find any document or folder is by searching up in the search bar. So you can start creating lots of folders and organizing your documents into those folders. The last thing that I want to share, share with you is how you share a folder with other people. So if I was an administrator and I created a 12-13 staff meeting notes and I wanted all of my staff members to have access to this folder, just as if you were a teacher and you had students that you wanted access to that folder, I can click on the little down arrow by 1213 staff meeting notes and I can share this folder by clicking on share and I can enter the people's names that I would like to have access to this folder. It's exactly like when you are sharing a document. So I'll just share this one with Nathaniel. I can give him edit or view rights to the entire folder so I'll let him edit and you can add a little message. This is for a test, just so he knows, and then click Share and Save. So now you can see that my little folder here now has a little person on it, which means that it's a shared folder. Now Nathaniel can add anything to this 1213 staff meeting notes, and I'll be able to see it here, 
and if I add anything to it, he'll be able to see it on his computer. So it's a really nice way to start organizing and sharing and collaborating on um, different docs and organizing them into a folder.